Happy Feed My Pet Friday, everyone! This week we will be feeding Tutti Frutti, my milk snake, and I like her to kind of hunt for her food, so I lead her around a little bit with the rat first before I let her take it, and then I wiggle it around a bit so that she actually constricts it and flexes those muscles. Now, what species of milk snake she is is kind of hard to explain. As of 2017, there was a reclassification of the milk snakes. Up until now, they were all lumped under one species, Lamprepaltus triangulum, and they were just split up into 24 different subspecies. But now they've all been broken down into actual species themselves. So she used to be considered a Lamprepaltus triangulum annulata, which is commonly known as the Mexican milk snake. But now, after the reclassification this year of milk snakes, she is now considered a Lamprepaltus abnorma. And now she doesn't have a common name, technically, so maybe they'll come out with one eventually, or we'll probably just keep referring to them as the previously known Mexican milk snake. I found Tutti Frutti on a Facebook group post. There was a garage sale site near me, and a friend of mine tagged me in a post for a $10 milk snake. Someone was trying to rehome this milk snake because she didn't have time for her anymore, and her cats kept getting into the tank, so she was understandably so worried about the snake's well-being. In her previous home, she was fed live rodents, and she does have some resulting scars from that, but she changed to frozen thought immediately once I bought her. She has such a great appetite that I'm able to bring her to programs, and she has eaten rats and mice in front of hundreds of kids at libraries and scouts, and she's friendly enough that actually kids are able to hold her too. She is a rather large milk snake, but some, well, some subspecies are now some species of milk snakes do get larger than others, and she is fully grown and around 13 years old. However, if you don't know this already, snakes, and all reptiles for that matter, continuously grow their entire life. They, they never stop growing. That's why they will shed occasionally, even in adulthood too. Although their slowing drastically slows down once they become breeding age. So she will continue to grow, just not very much. I also got bored of watching her, so I kind of left the camera and she moved it around and you'll see me kind of adjusting the camera here and there. So apologies for the couple of times she drags the mouse off screen. There's Tutti Frutti for you, my Mexican milk snake. Or if you want to get technical, my Lamprepaltus triangulum abnorma. I'm still trying to get used to calling her the new name and all that. But anyway, feel free to vote in the top right corner for next week's video. And we'll see you then.